Well, like I said before, in the last class, we were talking about especially shopping, right? And I was asking yeah. you before that uh, what are some things you would like to buy when you go to a store or maybe if you go to a supermarket. And then uh, you told me that if there is something you like to buy, well, it'll be souvenirs, right? Yeah. That is correct. Uh, and why is that special for you? Why souvenirs are very special to you? Especially, why do you consider that souvenirs are so special to you? Do you remember what, what souvenirs are? No. Souvenirs, they are like gifts that you buy to maybe an artist with a, you buy to an artist some person. All right, it's just like something that you can remember. For example, you are going to the beach to, or maybe you're going to a touristic area. And then um, because of this area, all right, you buy a souvenir, which is kind of like an object or something or something you buy to remember this place. That's a souvenir. Okay, so okay. now, we also mentioned some places in our vocabulary. Can you tell me these places? Can you see this well? No. Too little? Let me see. Yeah. Okay, look at that. So th those were some of the places we talked about in our previous class, okay? So let me just show you here. So there we can see the places we talked about before in our last class. Can you tell me, okay, the name of these places? Can, can you, okay. Chemist. Chemist, bakers, all right. It's the island. Estate agents, that's right. Garden center. Garden center, that's correct. Let's see. What about this? Green grocer. Okay, green grocers. Okay, what else? Chemist. Chemist. Butcher. Bachelors, that is correct. Uh, new segment. Okay, let me ask you something. Let's talk about the description of these places. Uh, what can we find in uh, green grocers? You can buy vegetables. We can buy Fruit. fruits and vegetables, that's right. And what about in a chemist or pharmacy? You can buy everything. Okay, and what about batchers? You can buy meat. Okay, and what about news agents? <laughs> Tell me this one, news agents. Uh, we can buy magazine or news. That's right, that's right. And also there is something you can do in a, uh, you know, when you go to a news agent. Well, uh, to a news agent, you can also, all uh, right, pay money. And if you are going to post, all uh, right, maybe an advertising, all uh, right, for a newspaper. Let's imagine you have a business as we did before in our last class. Let's imagine you have a business and, uh, and you want people to know your business. For example, the Nis Bakeries. That's just our, or needs nice stationery, as we did before in our last class. You go to the news agents, there they have like a partnership, an alliance, an association with the news, people pay money, and then your, your business may be advertised in the newspaper, meaning the readers, okay, are going to see the advertising about 
the business. That is part of, uh, that is also part of, well, at least they do this here. I don't know if they are, maybe they do it. I don't know if they're in Vietnam, they do it the same way, but here they do that. Understand clearly the, uh, this thing, me? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So now we are going to start with our new lesson. Okay, let me just show you. As we already covered this before in our last class. Okay, so let's get started with the other one. So present perfect. Okay. So let me ask you something. Um, did you uh, did you see this one in the last class? I don't think so. Uh, I think no. we have a lot here in last class. We covered this. Uh, you think we covered this one in the last class, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's right. So now uh, we're gonna cover the other one. Uh, I just wanted to make sure if I'm not covering or recovering again. All right. So culture, culture is street life, is street life. So look at this. <coughs> so I want you to look at the photos. Okay. Give me a second. I want you to look at the photos of the tourist area. Okay. This is Covent Garden in London. Uh, do you have any idea or do you know something about this place? It's a very popular place in London. I don't know this. You've never seen this place before, right? Yeah, I never heard it. Let me ask you something. What can you guess from the photos? What do you think, uh, what do you think it might be about? Uh, I think it's about the restaurant. Say, say it again one more time. Sorry. I think it's like a center. Like a center, right? Yeah. Like a, uh, uh, right? Like, um, you mean like a shopping mall or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me just show you here. So then we are going to listen. All right. We are going to read this. Look at what we are going to do. Let me just show you here, what is it? Let me go back. Let me show you in real life. Look at this. Look at this one, let me just show you. I want you to see this in real life. Look at this me, can you see this properly? Mm, yes. It's kind of sort of plaza where tourists go there to buy things like, uh, for example, bases, uh, you know, like um, artisans, they design things and then they sell it there. It's a space, it's a sort of, it's a sort of big market, all right? That is the Covent Garden where everybody, maybe you have all things and you can sell it over there at a cheaper price compared to another, compared to another one. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So whatever you might not understand me, let me just, let me know. I really want you to learn properly all the information. All right. Okay. So look at this, uh, I think this activity for you might not be new. Well, I'm saying like, you know, this type of activities. Look at what we are going to do in exercise number two. We are going to read the test, then we are going to match the photos, all right? We have three photos over here, all right? We have picture one, two, and three. And, you are, and I want you to tell me which is the corresponding test that describes the image. 
Look at that. You have, for example, A, you have A, B, and C, and then you have one, two, three. All right, and you will tell me, okay, teacher, first, you're gonna read that. Second, you are going to, to tell me which one is the corresponding picture associated with uh, the test you're reading, all right? So let's just start reading this. And after that, I want you to tell me. Let's just start with the first one, flowers, fruits, and vegetables. Let's see. Uh, in the same Century. Centuries, all right. Oh, century. Uh, century. Convent garden. What's the biggest and most important flower, fruit, and vegetable? Because in vegetable, Britain, vegetable, vegetable market. Yeah, market in Britain. Uh, it was also one of the first market to start selling. Pineapple. Pineapple. And for pineapple. The... pineapples. Pi and pineapples. Pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. Together, pineapples. Pineapple. That's right. <laughs> that's correct. Yeah, that's right. And for this reason, the pineapple become the market logo. Today, there is no longer a fruit and vegetable. Vegetables, fruit and vegetable. Fruit and vegetable. Market and can can listen me. At Coven Garden. You can listen now. Yeah, now I can, can listen. listen. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can listen well. Uh, but you can still. Now I can't. Pineapple. Okay, when you get close, yes, I can listen to. I can listen when you get close to the speaker, but when you kind of like move backwards, it's like I can listen well. <laughs> if we can get close all the time to this, uh, to the, uh, especially to the mic of your computer or device, then I may listen well all the information you're saying. Yes, I will do this. Um, but you can still see pineapple as part of the. Architecture. Uh, Architecture, that's right. Eating and drinking. Let's see. <laughs> about 100, 1,700 workers at the markets often went to the pub called the Lamp and Flat to drink beer or wind after work. It wasn't safe to drink water. They sometimes saw illegal boxing much there and for that reason the pub nickname was the focus of blood the bucket the yeah bucket the bucket of blood not listening the pub is still open today the oldest red talk in London rules is in Corvin Garden. It has been open since 1798 and serves traditional English food, including pies and puddings. Entertainment and shopping Covent Garden is the only venue. Venue in London. Venue in London. In other streets. Are allowed to work. A lot of people want to perform there. So they are artisans and only the best. The best artist can perform Bon Jovi was booked lay in the front of a very surprised artist. In fact, if you want to spot a celebrity 
Covent Garden is a good place to start. Singer Lily Allen owns a closet shop there, and if you can't afford the outfit, you can hire. You can hire. You can hire. You can hire them. You can hire them just for a night out. Neil, let me ask you something. I have some questions for you before we proceed with the, with the exercise. I have a question for you. Do you know any idea what is the meaning of the word uh, masker? Can you hear me well? I'm not listening to you. Okay, uh, I was saying to you, do you have any idea in regarding, uh, do you know what is a Baskers? What, do you know what, what is a Baskers? No, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tell you what is a Basker. Let me just show you over here. All right. So look at this. I really want you to learn new vocabulary that will allow you to enrich your English skills. I really want you to, to use more vocabulary. Look at this. Basker uh, is kind of like a musician. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look at this. I don't, I want you to look at the, can you see my screen? Can you see my, my phone? Do you see well? Okay, a buskers, there you have more. A busker is kind of like a musician. You go to a public place and somebody that is maybe with a trumpet or maybe with a guitar or maybe with a flute and is sitting there like performing a musical a musical um, work, like, you know, maybe a song or try to sing something or doing something, you know, with his talent. So like, they just are before everyone there, all right? And they maybe, sometimes they were hot, sometimes they don't, but sometimes they sing before people and everybody's looking at these people and give them tips, money, because they seem nice. They are like, uh, they are like, I believe I can fly. They sing any type of song. They can be like, for example, all right, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I know I am not a singer. You know, my thing is, my, my thing is to, to teach, all right? But for example, let's say they, they sing beautiful. They sing nicely, all right? And you can see they like, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. And people say, oh, my goodness. They seem very nice. Not like Tisha Alexis. And then they give them money. <laughs> All right. So then they get money from that. All right. They are usually in, you know, crowded places, public spaces, public places in which people give them money because of the talent, because of their talents. And this is especially what Baskers mean do you understand well the word basker? Yeah. Okay, a new word to you. So let's see now, I'm gonna ask you a few quick questions. Okay, um, let's see. Flowers, fruit, and vegetables, all right? What is the corresponding picture? Uh, a picture two. Okay, let's see, that's right. Eating and drinking, that's obvious. Picture, one. picture number one, which is obviously a restaurant. And what, well, the other one is very obvious. Okay, entertainment and shopping. Picture three. Picture three, that's right, by logic. All right, so let me ask you something. Here I have a questioner. I have a set of questions for you, six questions about this reading. Then I would like you to answer. Uh, number one, 
do you want to organize your ideas first or do you think you can do it all at one, all at once right away what do you think uh in order for you to answer the questions me uh do you think you can answer all the questions right away or you or do you think you will need some minutes to to grab the answers You will need some minutes, right? Okay, no problem. That's fine. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to give you, let me see. Do you think five minutes is going to be good for you in order for you to analyze well the answers you are going to give me? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So I'll give you five minutes. I'm here, right? Yeah. Try to do it nicely. thầy giao bài đang làm quá Then when you're ready, me, you let me know. All right. So this way, I will just make I will make sure that everything is fine.
Okay, Need, ready? Uh, okay, so here I start with my set of questions. Number one, why did the pineapple become the logo of the convent garden? <clears throat> oh, the covent garden, I'm sorry, covent garden. Mm -hmm. so it was also one of the first market to start selling pineapple. Say it again one more time, Ni. If you could please get it close to the to the mic, um, I may be able to listen better to all the information. Could you say it one more time? Because pineapple. Pineapple. Because pineapple. Yeah. Uh, was one of the first market to start selling. Oh, because pineapple was one of the first market to start selling. That is right. That is correct. Number two, why did uh, why did workers at Covent Garden not drink water, or did not drink rather? Why did workers at Covent Garden, okay, okay um, why did workers at Covent Market Garden, not drink water. Because they uh, drink beer or drink after work. Say you one more time. Uh, pick up. They drink beer or drink after work. Okay, that is correct. Let me see number three. What was the nickname? All right, what was the nickname of the lamb and flag pot and why? The lamb and flag pot. Uh, nickname was the podcast of flat. Okay, the, the bucket. Bucket of blood. Also saw illegal boxing match there. Yeah, there they have illegal boxing matches. Um, and, and that is one of the reason. That is one of the reasons, especially the, let's say the most relevant reason why they have that. I, I don't know if you ever had the opportunity to watch the video of Ed Sheeran. Uh, Ed Sheeran, all right? He's a... Uh, a British, let me let me show you, let me show him. Maybe you know him. Do you listen to music in English? Yes. Let me show you. Maybe you can know this singer. Uh, actually, is Body on Me, something like that. So actually, the video is about um a illegal fight. Actually, her he met a girl, right? He met a girl, then the girl became his girlfriend, and then after that. Um, the guy was boxing. He he learned, all right. He was learning how to like uh, to start boxing, but he did not have a lot of experience as her girlfriend because she was a professional. And actually, um, those uh, those kind of um, matches were illegal. Then I associate this with this context because I know you may understand this more. Let me show you. It's Sharon. This one. Do you know him? He's from the UK. I think I have ever seen him. I don't you have never seen him before? Yes. Yeah. Never, never, never. He uh do you know Beyonce? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe if I play one of the songs, one of their songs. Anyway, let me see. I will try to play uh, one of their songs. Do you listen to music in English? Yeah. Let me show yeah. you. Real quick. So yeah, that. Let me just show you so that you can understand this more. Look at this. Is this on the one I'm talking about?
you see? This one, do you know this one? Have you ever heard this one? He's the owner, he's, okay. Actually, he's the one who sings this song. I also listen to the music, but I don't remember the name. Ah, uh, the lyrics, all right. So the, the, let me just show you. I think is, let me show you. Let me see. Okay, this is the one I'm talking about. And this is kind of like what happens in those places, all right? They are like having, look at this. Let me show you. Look at this. Those are the places. You see? Uh, yeah. You see? And then actually those places, they may have illegal fights, you see? Have you ever have you ever heard this song before? Yes, I have many times. Especially this one. Okay. Then he was learning. Yeah. Then actually, there are some places like that. Going back to the lesson, there are some places like that, in which uh, actually that is not legal. It's forbidden. If the authorities, if they get caught. By the authorities, they may get in troubles, especially in the UK. That is not legal because any kind of machine event must be must be registered. And uh, what's happening is that, uh, as you see in this video, I don't know if you ever have the opportunity to watch it or if in the, maybe in the future you can see it with the only intention to know the context of what we are talking about in the class. But um, like I said, like I said before, or like, or like you said before, okay, the nickname of the lamb flag pub was especially the blood of bucket, especially because of those illegal fights, all right? Those illegal matches that were not allowed by law. And that is the reason, okay? So where did it take place? Maybe in these pubs. And as you see this one, that is, Actually, the one you're reading about, there are many more. Is that correct? They, uh, is that correct that they they do that or they practice this kind of sports or things like that? No, that is not correct. But actually, it's illegal. Uh, the thing is that it's not a secret that maybe we can we may come across with, with all this. And as people that we are learning things as a student. It's important to know what is there and what it is not, what is not there, okay? This is an information that, okay, you may say, okay, is that so relevant to me? Maybe, maybe it is not, but uh, anything you learn in life, uh, you know, uh, it's important to know, okay? Yeah. Knowledge is important in all aspects. Even you don't need something, but one never know. <laughs> all right, so let's continue. So let's see here, um, number four. Okay, let's see question number four. When did the oldest restaurant in London open? The oldest restaurant in London opened since uh, 1798. Okay, uh, you say 1798? Yeah. And how many places are there in London where people are allowed to perform in the streets? Uh, they they allow to perform only in the only in Covent Garden. Okay, only in. Covent Garden, that is correct. So now look at this, okay? We are going to jump to this exercise, exercise number four, okay? We are going to find these words in the paragraph C. Look at paragraph C, do you have your book open? Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna go backwards to paragraph C 
And then on the test, I want you to match with the definitions, all right? In order to complete. So we have these words such as artist, audience, audition, bask, basker. I already told you what, is, what a basker is. Also venue, venue is a place, all right? Of a certain area, that's a venue. Then I would like you to help me with this so we can complete this exercise. Do you think you will need some time or you can do it all at once? Uh, I will have two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. That's right. Take your time. No problem. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, let's see how you did it. Okay, number one, <clears throat> sorry, to play with a musical instrument. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, to play with a musical instrument and or seen in public uh, for money. I'm sorry? Okay, um, Basker, that's right. Let's see. Okay, Bask. Look at this. Somebody who does, all right? Somebody who does this. Uh, yeah, the Basker, that's right. And the Bask is a place, all right? Number two, a group of people watching, all right? I'm sorry, a group of people watching entertainment together. Okay, say it again one more time. It's uh, your voice is like a wave from the from the speaker and the microphone. Oh, you think? Let me see. Oh, audition. Yeah, audition. Audition. All right. Oh, or audience. That'll be audience. A group of people. The audience is. The per, uh, you know, the people that are looking to you, these people are looking at you. That is the audience, all right. The audience is a group of people watching entertainment or together, and not only in those contents. Then, audience, for example, you are reading or you are giving a speech to a group of people, maybe at college or maybe at a school, and they also they may also be your audience. Understand that, me? Yeah. So now let's see exercise three, a performance in front of judges, right? A performance in front of judges to see if you are good enough to perform. What do you think that may be? Uh, 
uh, is audition. Auditions, that's right. Audition. That is a this is auditions are performing in front of judges. All right. Number four, a place for performances. Venue. Okay, venue. All right. Um, next one, number five, an entertainment. Okay, an entertainer or performer, performer of some kind. Yeah. All right, of some type of, uh, uh, you know, like an entertainer or performing some kind, that person will be an artist. That's right. Okay, so now, well, actually, there is an announcement that uh, let me see what time is it. Let me let's just go ahead. Give me a second. Okay, never mind, Sarah. Oh, it will take more than that. Let me see. So let me just jump to this one. Okay, so let me ask you this. I am going to ask you some questions. All right, imagine you are spending an afternoon. All right, imagine you are spending an afternoon in Covent Garden. What activities would you like to do? Me. Nee. So remember that there are three main activities at Cover, Covent Garden, three main activities. The activities the, the first mentioned is like going there to buy cheap things or maybe like use things at a cheaper price. Okay, another activity, another activity might be going to the restaurants to drink or to have some food. And then uh, especially to listen to the, to the buskers, all right, at the busk. Uh, which activity would you like to go there? Imagine you are, imagine for example, your family or somebody else tells you, maybe your family, me, tells you, all right, tells you, um, somebody else tells you, all right, somebody else tells you to go to, all right, to go to this place, uh, which activity in a special uh, will you consider important a right to, to, to do there? I will buy the vegetables. Oh, you will go buy vegetables there? Yeah. What kind of vegetables? Papaya? Yeah. <laughs> Passion fruits? Like Coconut? Of course. Do you have I coconut? Feel really Do you have coconuts in Vietnam? Yes, we have very much. With a lot of water. Do you know coconut has a lot of water inside? Do you like coconut? Yeah. Do you like coconut water? I like coconut water. It's yeah, healthy. it's healthy. It's healthy. It's healthy, especially for your lungs and all that. Your immune system is like you feel better. And also you may feel more energetic, all right? So let me ask you something. I have another question for you, all right? Um, is there a similar place in your town? Okay, and what activities can you do there? What is the name of this place in your town?
What activities can you do at that place? No, I think so like going to buy groceries, green groceries and all that, like groceries, yeah. uh, buying vegetables. Uh, can you do these activities? Yes, I can do this. Okay. And what is the name of this place? Me? I don't remember this name now. Ah, you don't remember the name. <laughs> okay, are you living, uh, do you live in uh, Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, or where specifically? Uh, it's like the same, but Hanoi is the uh, capital of Vietnam. Oh, okay, Hanoi. All right, well, fantastic. Nee, let me ask you a question, all right? So <clears throat> I'm going to send you this as a homework so that you can send me to through Zalo this one in particular, and then you send me your answers through Zalo. Like, you know, in your book, you send me your, your answers. Let me tell, let me ask you, Nee, what did we learn today in our talk? We learned about common garden. Okay, common garden. And now, uh, especially what do they do in this place? We can eat, think, uh, shopping, Okay, you can eat, drink, all right, and buy things. Uh, eat, drink, and buy things. Especially this is what I also listen to the bonk, bonkers, all right? They are like informal musicians, informal artists. Well, Nate, thank you so much for your patience and thank you so much for the few minutes we took. And my apologies for the time and the delay with the presentation that was taking more than usual. Anyway, I thank you so much for being active in your participation and for being so engaged with this. I wish you a fantastic rest of the night and have a good night. Yeah, have a good night too. Bye, see you in the next class. Uh, remember to send me the, the homework through Zalo. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.